Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jerry Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 15 widgets that you must have on your iPad on iPad OS 13. Now with iPad OS 13, you will have this cool like feature that you can have your widgets on the first page of the home screen. You don't need to swipe to go to the pages where the widgets are. You will have them right here on the main page like you have the icons on the left side you will have the widgets right there so here are the top 15 widgets that you can use right here on the home screen they are very very useful and you must have them on your ipad on ipad os 13. starting off with the first one is called the calculator now what this does is that it puts a calculator right here on the home screen of your ipad now even though we are on iPad OS 13, Apple still hasn't added the calculator app to, I, to iPad OS. I don't know why they're doing that, but anyways, you can get the calculator, which is an app, but of course it also offers this widget that has the full calculator here. So anything you wanna calculate, you can do that directly from here. You don't have to go to the app. Everything, as you can see, can be done right here within the widget. You will have all the features of the calculator right here. Now, of course, you will have there a button which allows you to go straight to the app. And this widget also, as you can see right here, supports the dark mode and it looks really beautiful. The next widget for the video is called iTranslate and it allows you to translate anything that you have copied on the clipboard of your iPad to any of these languages. So all you gotta do is just copy a text that you want to translate and then just come to the widget here. All you gotta do is just tap the icon to the which language you want to translate that thing that you have copied on the clipboard. And as you can see, as easy as that, it will translate that directly here on the widget. The next widget for the video is called Magic Dialer and it allows you to dial any number that you want from the home screen of your iPad. So all you gotta do here is just type any number that you want to call and tap right here and of course click call and you will be able to call that number. Now of course the calls go through the iPhone, that's the way it works with the iPad, but it lets you, as you can see right here, call any number that you want. Directly here you will have this nice little dialer a nice little design right there and just type any number that you want also if you let access to your contacts you will see a contacts list here as well next up is world clock this widget allows us to have as many time zones as you want on the home screen right here on your ipad on ipad os 13 so you can see right here i have four i can just make that smaller and have just two or i can have four and of course i can add even more to that just type on one of them and it will take you to the app right here just tap the plus button and you can just go ahead and add any other city that you want so just go right there and you're good to go now when you go to your widget you will have all those cities listed right here and you can have the time zones for each of the cities that you want now a nice little detail right there you can see the clock some will be white some will be darker those that are darker indicate that there is night in that place those that are white of course indicate that there is daytime on that place next up is any launch this widget allows to open any apps directly from the widget right here so you can see you can just go ahead and tap on any app that you put right there and go ahead and open it as easy as that and it offers also a second widget which is this one right here that will show you the storage left on your device the free ram memory and also the upload and downloads of your device right there now if you go to air launch you go to the app you can go ahead and edit the widget directly from there so go to air launch and from here you can go ahead and add more so let's tape tap launch app right there you can go ahead and choose any of these apps and put them right there on the widget so you can see when you tap one of the apps if it has more options you can go ahead and choose which of the options you want to add so here with gmail you can go ahead and add like compose new email email someone or open gmail open the app of course click save and you're good to go you will have them that right here on the widget and you can go as easy as that open it directly from here iStatistica will show you a bunch of details here regarding your device. So everything that you need to know about your device 
will be within this one widget. So the first thing right there you will see is the uptime. So since the last time your iPad has been booted, that's the uptime. So five hours ago, I rebooted this device and from then on it has been booted. It shows there five hours. Of course, right here will show you the free RAM memory. The processor is in the middle and right there it will show you the free storage as well. Lower here you will see your per percentage of battery and also it will show you right there the Wi-Fi time, the browsing time, the call time, all that in details right there, which is really, really useful. Next is a weather widget called A Weather. Of course, there are a ton of widgets that offer you the weather on iPad OS 13, but the reason I chose this one is that you can have three different widgets with three different cities right here on the home screen of your iPad. You can also customize each of them separately. That's really, really cool as well. And of course, it offers a bunch of information here regarding the weather. Now, all you gotta do here is just tap on that little arrow and from here we'll have the option to switch from the one hour forecast to two hours, four hours, six, and then one day as well. As easy as that, you can switch between different times. And of course, you will have that little edit button right there that will take you right into the app from where you can customize or even change the location of the widgets. Countdowns is the next one for this video. It allows you to have your countdowns right here on the home screen of your iPad. So you can see I have two right here, and of course we'll show everything from seconds to minutes, hours and days as well. And at the top right there, you will see the title, the name of that countdown. Of course, I just put a test right there. You will put like birthday or anything that you want, anything that it's important and you want to see the countdown here on the home screen you can do that with this app and of course this amazing widget so right here you will see the first one if you tap on the arrow you will see just the first one if you want to expand to see all the other ones you just tap on the little arrow right there now if you tap on one of them it will take you to the app from where you can go ahead and edit these countdowns that you currently have or you can go ahead and add other countdowns as well as easy as this you can import them from your calendar or you can just add a title at a time right there and you will see that countdown right there on the home screen of your ipad next up is a widget called cop it now this one is really really useful so what it does is that it allows you to manage your clipboard so right here all i gotta do is just tap on the widget and it will show me whatever i have copied on my clipboard now if i want to save this to the copied app all i gotta do is just tap that little plus button and that will be saved if i want to just basically copy anything that i have here i can tap that button or if i want to just clear out my basically my clipboard all i gotta do is just tap that little arrow, that little x button right there and it will clear anything that i have copied on the clipboard and here if you tap the little arrow you will see all the recent copied things that you have right there now if you go within the app you will see here the things that i just added you can see here this is the thing that I had copied on my clipboard, just tap the plus button right there from the widget and it will save it as a note right here within the Copied app. The next widget for the video is called Time Glass. Now this one allows you to have your timers right here on the home screen of your iPad on iPad OS 13. Now of course you can have a bunch of timers running at the same time and based on different colors you will know which timer is for which activity. And if you tap on one of them it will take you to your app. What you will see here your timers you will have the active ones you can see them right there you want to add more you can just tap the plus button and just go ahead set the time right here you can also enable auto repeat right there once you're done just click here of course you need to add a title first then just click there and you're good to go you will have that timer right there on the app now to start a timer, you will need to tap those that button right there that's to edit but if you want to start a timer you can just tap on any timer that you want just like this and it will start the timer if you want to stop it just click right there and click cancel next is the espn widget this is from the espn app a must-have app for all sports fans now the widget will keep you updated with the latest scores and schedules of your favorite teams so you will see like all the teams that you select 
from your favorite teams you will see the the schedules right here the upcoming games also you will see the scores there as well now if you go within the app and go to settings here is where you will set your favorite team so you go to preferences and alerts and you will have your teams here you can tap on add more teams and you can go ahead and add teams there and then you will see the schedules and also the results the scores of those teams right there on the widget the next widget for the video is called time page now what this does is that it lets you have the calendar right here on the home screen of your ipad of course you will see the full calendar you can also go ahead and switch between different months and you will see the black dot right there which indicates the current date and it also has a second widget which will show you the events for today so you can see as easy as that you will have like your full calendar right here with the stock app of ios you cannot have that you will have a widget just like this one not this one as well so it is really really awesome you can of course add events as well so just tap right there and you will be able to add any event and then of course you will see them right there on the widget once you have added them you will see them on the smaller widget there the next one is cpu x now this one will give you a bunch of detailed information regarding your device so you will see the cpu and the ram memory usage right there so you will see the cpu here and you can see the ram memory is 93 percent used and then you will see here the upload and download speeds you will see right there the storage as well as well as the power so everything right there will be detailed you can see the storage 63 percent and of course it shows you also the gigabytes and it will show you the million powers right here 32 percent so everything will be detailed here a must-have widget for your ipad and the last two ones are kind of like fun widgets that you must have on your ipad on ipad os 13 the first one is called 365 dots which of course indicate the days of the year so it will show you all the dots they will light up once a day goes by and then you will see right here the year 2019 the percentage of the year right there and then you have here you can see 282 of 365 days already gone and last but not least is tic-tac-toe it lets you play the game right here on the home screen of your ipad of course this is a fun widget but i thought i just add it here it is pretty cool of course you can play with someone right here and you will be able to basically have fun using tic-tac-toe as you can see right here on the home screen of your ipad on ipad os 13. so that's basically it for this video guys these are my 15 must-have ipad widgets which of course you can use on your ipad on ipad os 13 with the cool new feature that you can have them right here on the home screen of your ipad you don't have to go to an extra page to show them that's really really cool and most of them are really useful having them just sitting here on the home screen you can go ahead and easy calculate something you can go ahead and translate something or you can just take a look at the time right here on the home screen without needing to open any app or go to the next page to do that so that's basically it thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one